Welcome to the Scott Pilgrim Inverted Edition. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Dude, I found a Donald Trump toilet brush. <laughs> with Donald Trump, to and it comes with to Donald Trump toilet paper. Oh, there's literally a game called Right or Racist. Why is that a thing? Why? I still suck at this game. Delicious chips. So oh. oh, I need those pillows. I really don't, but I want them. Bicycle seat belt. Huh. Why? Dude, Amazon's got some weird fucking shit on the gag gift section. Like, I'm not even joking. A lot of it's the same shit, but they got some, like, golden stuff in here. Bus is here. Oh, shit. Sick. There's only a gift that she got. It's called Last Breath of Communism. Canned. You can already guess what it is, bro. It's not Germany. It's the other one. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. So you know this stupid thing? Automaton? I kind of want to get one. Really? I died? Oh my god, there's, I, oh my god, I need that. I need that just because of a certain person. I need it because I'm a big wrestling fan and it's a, it's a thing that a certain person says. I'm not going to tell what, Zach what it is until uh, I'm going to actually get it for Christmas. I'm actually going to get it for Zach for Christmas, and he's going to fucking love it. No, Zach, like, you really will love this. It's actually pretty genius. I trust you on that. You'll love it, trust me. I'll get it for you for Christmas uh, ah! this year. So, yeah. 
And it's not far away, actually, so. Oh, yeah. Just when I thought AEW couldn't uh, find any more people to align themselves with, now they're not aligning with a, uh, New Japan. So I think they're going to combine forces, and but AEW does own Ring of Honor, so. Oh, and the NWA does stuff with Ring of Honor, too, so. <laughs> Won't be long before AEW comes out that door saying, yeah, we own you, too. They all do partnerships. That's the whole point of wrestling. Yeah, they're all doing partnerships. They're supposed they, to do partnerships. They're, the WWE. They're, try, they're trying to go back to what... Tony Khan's trying to go back to the old days where there were just multiple promotions and everywhere went everywhere. And everyone was on the and same it, page. And, like, storylines extended throughout companies. So it wasn't... Yeah. Like, you want to see what happens next? Go to this fucking company or whatever else. Watch this fucking... Or, channel or whatever. Or if your certain wrestler is not there in a certain company, you can watch them in a different company. Yeah. Like, that was the See whole... what he's doing there. That was the whole magic. If you were... Or she. Or if you were, like, in a town and, like, she, the wrestler she. finally actually came back, then it was, like, a big ovation because you hadn't seen them in a long time in that state. And they were only wrestled in certain territories. Yeah. So you only see them in that territory, which is why it made it so special. Yeah, but now AEW's just doing... Kind of bringing it back, but not really. Hey, cool. I'm le level 11 now. Because... I think it was actually smarter than to buy Ring of Honor. Because now they can get all the Ring of Honor guys back who want to come back. And then for the new guys that sign on to the company in AEW, can either go to Ring of Honor or AEW. Or AEW Dark. Darker Rampage. Or Di Dynamite. I'm just saying, guys, it won't be long before Impact dies. Or you get fought by a oh, uh, motherfucker. Oh, here, I gotta go to the bathroom.
Okay, here we go. All right, thank you guys for watching this in this inverted edition, mm. and I'll catch you guys later. All right, peace, stay crispy.